Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Uh, I scored 2016 this week, went up 2,000 rankings, um, 112, not 114,000 now. <laughs> so it's slowly improved. Um, I was expecting at least 2,100, um, if not closer to 2,200 at one point. I think of the fact that uh, uh, Baker, Jones, and Trelaw both they all pretty much let me down. Um, because some of these guys, not everyone has... So anyway, let's have a look at the team. Docker only yeah, scored 71. Um, there's a rumor is that uh, when, say, Walsh comes back, Kennedy, a lot of the midfielders come back, he will get thrown uh, back, and he might actually get a lot of the ball in the back line again. We'll just see. Um, looks like Saad's actually taking his role. Um, but so but when, uh, so you can probably decide to trade him now. If you're going to trade him, trade him now. And but there could be a chance that he might actually start scoring well once Walsh and the midfield and Colton come back. Uh, really, 136 finally come back, which was really good. And Ridley, oh, he, man, he was a bit frustrating. 88, he, he scored, he, he was on the par of scoring, he, like he started pretty slow, but then well, towards the end there, he just started to uh, he started really picking up speed and then, yeah, and. Yeah, he just fell over the line with only 88. Really thought he was going to turn up there. Gimby, not what we want to see. We don't want to see 40. Uh, we wanted to make more cash because cash is starting to get pretty hard at the moment to get. Uh, Jones, 45. Um, he's going to be on the cutting block. Maybe we've got to make a choice. Do we just hold him and just go with it? Because next week, you know, if, as soon as you trade him out this week, he might come back and score 100 or 80 out of nowhere. Um, so do we just back him in? So many times, some of these guys I've traded pre in previous seasons where I've done a lot much better, but actually holding on to these guys, they can actually still make coin. Um, just a bit of a pa bit of patience, but patience can actually upset you as well. Let's have a quick look to see his break even. His break even is 36, so he should be able to still get his break even. So he's still give him another chance to make more coin and possibly score 80 plus. The only downside is if he gets injured next week and scores barely anything. But I think we can still keep him this week. Doherty's not the case. I mean, do we get rid of him? Not sure. Dawson scored 172, so a lot of people will start looking at him. That's the problem with me at the moment. I've got a lot of these players where no one's going to be trading into. If Riola starts keep scoring like this, like I think he was going to from the start of the season, people will start trading him in. And that's good for us because then we can... Uh, then, then people are trading into what we've already got. At the moment, the problem is everyone's trading away from us, the people that we don't have, and then the people we do have aren't scoring quite as well. Uh, Wilmot scored 50, should be enough. Cohen, 51. Constable, I can't wait for him to come back. We really need to make more coin. Bonapelli, finally, 122 was not too bad. <clears throat> uh, McCray, 103. Um, I heard a bit of noise. Maybe he's going to get the forward icon. If he gets the forward icon, this changes my team dramatically. And, you know, it means I've got a full, full forward. Like, my forwards are actually doing extremely well then. And then I can look at getting other midfielders in. Um. Anyway, uh, uh, Kelly. Uh, Kelly, 108. The problem here is he was 70 at half time. <clears throat> and he was looking extremely well. And then... In the fourth quarter, he just stopped or slowed down. So this was very upsetting. I thought he was actually getting at 140 plus. It was well on the cards. Um, Perish 98, we can, we can deal with that. Galore under 68. This experiment of mine, trying to get him in, just to try to have a real extreme pod, just to try and make up some ground. Sort of bit me, but he's still averaging 105. Last week is averaging 124. Uh, hopefully he does bounce back. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do. It should keep him, I think. If I downgrade him today, I might actually be able to upgrade Jones and Gimby. If Gimby goes bad next week, maybe. Because Jones, I could decide to upgrade this week and then look at a couple of... Uh, do I have a couple of targets around 400 and 500? You know, Will Day is a lot of a lot of people. You may know that you know, defense line, a lot of people are jumping on. Um, there could be another one. As well, um, Mitch Duncan scored pretty well, and yeah, he seemed to get a lot of the ball, and they actually destroyed it today. 
um, the Cats. So that, that's the type of player we want, is someone who can get the ball a lot and win a really good game. So um, centre field, 87. Yeah, Trelaw is a 68. He was butchering the ball. Wasn't really being used as much, unfortunately. But yeah, centre field, 87. We can deal with that. He's making some coin. Ashcroft again, making coin. Baker, 47. It's sort of a slap in the face because his cash generation is going to slow down. Mackenzie only 49, which is not great either. But I mean... The Baker scenario. I had him on the I had him on the bench last week when he scored a ton. This week I've got him on the field. He scores forty seven. This is just the season we've got to put up with at the moment. Holland's fifty two. Laurie's still injured. Hopefully he gets back. Darcy finally getting some form with one hundred and twenty five. So we're still keeping the rucks. Uh, Madden he did not play, but he's our bullet. Marshall is ninety six. So ah, uh, Marshall, and yeah, Grundy's sort of killing it now. So. Do we trade to Marshall to Grundy or one of these guys to a Grundy and then get jump to Gorn once he, uh, yeah, I don't know, when the time's right? I think we could have burned too many trades. Um, Dunkley, 84, everyone's got him, so there's a really good uh, um, Train to 114, pretty good. Zeeble, 92, acceptable. Probably want him to turn up, get 120 plus. Diesel still being a keeper at 111. JHF, much better now, 95. It was a bit, he started off all right too, but in the case, I thought he was going to turn up and then slow down. And then Jay Van Ruin, I did, was going to bring in Brockman, but I'm not sure how much Brockman actually made. I'll have to have a look. I'm guessing probably about the same. Um, but yeah, 53 is still acceptable. We did jump early, so we could possibly, so when we do check Brockman and see how much he scored, um, we could probably bring in Brockman as well, maybe, uh, depending you know, who we can swing forward if we can. Um, yeah, Davey scored 45, bit lower. It's not great. We want these guys, these rookies that got good cash. F Green, everyone's got 73. It's going to make a lot of coin. So that was that was pretty much it. So, yeah, Baker led me down. Trelaw letting me down. Um, Jones letting me down. So Jones and Doherty were questioning at the moment. Even Ridley at some, you know, he's still dropping cash. But I think he's still going to keep him for the time being. He's he's getting a lot of bench time as well, which is a bit frustrating. Um, yeah, and then we need Parrish to actually start pulling his weight as well. I was expecting Parrish to jump up higher, but now Merritt's actually taking on the, more of the mid, midfield ball, so that's not great for us at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will create another video soon about the league and see how you all went. All right, thanks for following, and... See you next video. See you guys.